Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a loop entrance animation effect that is responsive on all devices. So at the end of this tutorial, we're going to create something like this. When you refresh this page, you're going to see the entrance animation effect, as you can see. Okay, and also we check it out on other ta other devices. We can see that work smoothly on tablets and also on mobile. So you can use this to stylize your loop items on you know, your web page and create that cool and amazing soothing effect for your viewers to see. So without further delay, let's dive in and get started. So in our Elementor editing screen, what I'm going to do here is I first of all come over here, click on the plus icon, select the flashbox container, then I'll select the structure here. Now I'm going to come over here for the minimal height, set the minimal height unit to BH and give it the value of 100. Justify content to the center and then I'm going to align items to the center. Then I head over to the style option for the background type. I'll set the background type to classic and then give it the background color black. Go to the advanced settings and for the padding, I'm just going to come over here and unlink this to the top. I'll give it the padding of 80 pixels to the right, 20 pixels to the bottom. I'll give it 100 pixel and then to the left, I'll give it 20 pixel. Now this particular padding structure here, you can set it as however you want. I'm just doing this for the purpose of this tutorial so we can see clearly what we're working with. Now that I've done that, what I do next is I'll come over here, click on the add element and then search for the loop then i drag the loop grid and drop it here so i've already created the template that we'll be using for the purpose of this tutorial however this code works for any kind of loop you want to create be it post loop or product loop or even custom loop okay so now i'm just going to set it at post loop because i've created a template for the post now come over to choose a template type here and then I'll just type the name of the template that I've created. I think I created something called image only. Oh uh, yeah, this is the template I created for the purpose of this. It's just an image only post loop, like you can see. I did this so that it will be easy for us to see the effect as it takes place. Now, in your case, you can design your loop however you want and then apply the code and it will work instantly. So I'm just going to increase the column here to four. And then the items per page, I'm just going to set it to 8. So we now have something that looks like this. Okay. So now the next thing I'll do here is I'm just going to come over here and click on the add element. And then I'm going to search for the HTML widget here. Then I'll scroll down here and drag this and drop it here. Okay. So now I'm going to head over to my code editor. Now, you do not have to worry about this code. It's going to be made available on the video description and even on the comment section of this video so you can use it on your project for free. Okay, so now what I'm going to do here is I'll just paste it here. You can see, you notice that the loop item has disappeared. Now, you do not have to worry. In a situation where you want to edit your loop item, all you just need to do is to come over here and remove the code and you will have your loop items here and you can edit it do whatever you want to do and if you want to add the effect just come back and then paste your code and it's going to take place so the next thing we do here is just click on the publish and then we're going to come over here to preview changes you can see okay and then anytime you refresh it you just have this nice entrance animation for your loop items okay now, you can use this to showcase whatever you want to showcase on your website, even your product, your post. It just gives your website this nice feel, you know. So that's pretty much it about this tutorial. So if you've learned something new from this tutorial, remember to give this video a thumbs up. Uh, feel free to drop your comment wherever you're confused. And I'll do what to attend to as much as I can. But until then, see you in our next video. Bye-bye.